Hello friends, Archangel with Crypto Angel here. I would like to add on to my analysis of the Wolf Paper version 2.0 allocation pairs. If you remember the other day, we went through all 16 pairs and looked at the revised allocation point amounts for each of those pairs and how the total percentage calculated for each of the bone per block rewards during the liquidity event. Now, as a reminder, this spreadsheet is only for the liquidity event and does not factor in the lower amounts or the declining decay curve for bone rewards after the liquidity event. So I want to make sure that we understand that. And as full disclosure, I do own Leash and Shib. However, the rest of these pairs that we're going to look at, I do not own any of those as of yet, but I will be looking at these after going through this. I just didn't want to purchase anything and have that influence the way I presented this video. So again, this is not financial advice. This is education and information for you to make your own decisions. So I'm not suggesting any of these tokens and I would like for you to be fiscally responsible with your money. So with that, we'll get started. Now, one of the things that I'm looking at is we, we've looked at the percentage split and obviously the bone Ethereum pair has the most percentage of bone uh, rewards. However, we need to factor into consideration the circulating supply for each of those. So even though some of these ones on the tail end may not be looked at as much because they get 1% or 5% roughly of the total bone rewards, the circulating supply may factor into a beneficial return on that. So one of the things that we're looking at is the current token price, which I've updated as around 1230 uh, Eastern Standard Time at, on June 28th. These prices will change and will affect the, the calculations, so just so that you're aware. And again, the circulating supplies that I could find for each of these tokens. These may or may not be correct. I did pull them off of coinmarketcap.com where I could. The ones that were not listed on coinmarketcap.com, I pulled off of coingecko.com. That's just so you have a reference for those, but you can match those up at a future date. So what we're looking at here is the bone per token per block, the bone per token per day, and the bone per token for the 14 day rewards. But what I wanted to see here is which token out of the 15 pairs that we have, because bone is not out in the wild yet, out of the 15 pairs that we can make, which one is getting the most bone rewards per token. And so, Right here, I'm looking at the, the total rewards and we can see that Leash comes in and, and these are based on if the entire circulating supply was in the dig pool. So just so you're aware. So this one Leash will produce 100 bone tokens during the liquidity event at a minimum. So the, the next one in line that we can see is actually X Fund. The X fund token will produce 135 leash by the end of the liquidity event. And that is if there is all X fund or all leash of the circulating supply in the bone pool. So one of the things that we want to look at is even though X fund is only getting 0.84% of the total bone production, they only have 5,678 tokens in circulation according to coingecko.com. So if we divide that out, we actually get bone rewards of 135 per token. So it looks like on a token by token basis, X fund actually outproduces leash for bone rewards. Now that's not the only thing I wanted to look at. I also wanted to look at Okay, th this lets us know which token as a whole uh, produces the most bone rewards, but I also wanted to look at what kind of bang you could get for your buck or, or what kind of bone you can get for your buck. So during a hypothetical investment of $100, I wanted to look at which, which one dollar for dollar would actually produce the most bone. So for per $100, 
of investment, you would get, and this is just for the one side of the pair. So this is just for leash, not for the leash ETH pair. So you'll have to couple this up with another hundred dollars for the, for the Ethereum side. But for a hundred dollars of leash, we would get roughly 3.17 bone production. And so we can scroll through here that not many hit above the, the decimal point, but X fund does hit that. Although it doesn't produce as well as, as leash right now, because the X people have figured this out well before this video. And so they have, they have run up the price of X fund, uh, recently to show that they, they've, it's actually surpassed the, the leash production, but previously a, a day or two ago, this was higher than, than the leash ETH pair. But interestingly enough, we see the meme token dollar for dollar, not by token, but dollar for dollar actually produces about double the amount of bone for that dollar than anything else on the board. So it looks like the meme ETH pair, if you're, or if you're trying to be conservative with your, your money that you're putting in dollar for dollar meme actually produces a larger amount of bone than leash. So with that said, there, there's pros and cons of this. So if your goal is strictly bone production, then some meme in your portfolio may be a good option. And again, that price has shot up 35 ish percent since yesterday. So other people have been running these calculations. This isn't uh, groundbreaking information, but I did want to run these calculations for you. Uh, there will be most likely more benefits for holding leash in the future. So it really, it really depends on what your, what your goal is for the liquidity event and where you think that token can go. So I just want you to be able to glance through here and dollar for dollar, as well as on a per token basis, see which ones you can utilize to make your re rewards the most efficient. So I hope this content has been helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. And with that, Archangel out.